This word problem is a good example of how a system of equations can be used to solve a real world problem. In this case, there's a cruise boat traveling downstream at a certain speed and also traveling upstream at a certain speed. And you're asked to find the speed or the rate of the stream. Think of the stream as a moving walkway in an airport. And the boat, when it travels downstream or with the flow, as a person walking in the direction of the moving walkway. And when the boat travels upstream against the current, Think of that as a person walking against the direction or in the opposite direction of a moving walkway. You have enough information in this problem to determine the speed or the rate of the boat as it travels with the current or with the stream and as it travels against the current or against the stream. The two equations that come from this information are x plus y equals 18 and x minus y equals 12. 18 is the speed in miles per hour of the boat as it travels with the stream. And notice the speeds of the boat and the stream, x and y, are added x minus y represents the equation when the boat travels against the stream the boat speed is 12 miles per hour therefore the speed of the stream is subtracted from the speed of the boat 18 miles per hour is the boat speed as it travels with the stream and 12 miles per hour is the boat speed as it travels against the stream x is the speed of the boat as if it were traveling on a lake where there was no current. I'll remind you of something I try to emphasize in class. When you have a real application or a real system, in this case boat and the stream, and you write equations that represent this real system, the units for each equation must be consistent on each side of the equal sign. For example, 18 miles per hour. Well, x and y must also be speeds in miles per hour. Elimination is the easiest method to use to solve these two equations. x is 15. The speed of the boat is 15 miles per hour. That speed would be like if it were on a lake not being assisted by the stream nor being resisted by the stream. When 15 is substituted in the first equation, y, the speed of the stream, is 3 miles per hour.